In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this custom gold paint using spray can. Let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to more Motorsports Garage. I pray everyone is having a blessed day. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and turning that bell icon on to get notified of every upload. Before I get started, I did want to remind you guys I record in 1080p, 60 frames per second. Make sure your settings are good on your end to make sure you get the best possible quality. I have had some people telling me that the quality is not good and to get a better camera. I have one of the newest GoPros. It is a very good camera. Uh, it's not on my end, I promise. Uh, if you go through your settings, sometimes they set automatically down to a lower one to save you data. 480p is the typical if you're using a cell phone, also on some TVs at 720. Um, but definitely go through and check, make sure it says 1080p. If you're getting to the video right after it posts, sometimes the high quality one is not available yet. It takes roughly about 30 minutes to get the nice quality. But with that being said, I am going to read the daily Bible verse, which is John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. It's just a beautiful reminder knowing that Jesus took all of that sin that we are. Everyone's a sinner. There is no one that is not. Um, and he took all that to the cross. And if we believe in him, put our trust and faith in him, that he died and rose again from the grave, conquering death so that we have a chance at eternal life, then we will make it to the kingdom. So I just wanted to let you guys know I am a faith-based car channel. If you haven't already figured that out over the years, um, and I'm not going to change to please the world. Of course, this is what God has called me to do, so I'm going to stand firm in my faith. I understand if not everybody fully believes or anything like that, but that's why I'm here. I care. I love you guys, and I just want you guys to prosper. Um, if you guys have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments. I try to answer them in the newest videos. I can't always go through all my old videos. It's really hard to keep up, but I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, whether you hate me or love me, it doesn't matter. I still love you guys, and I will pray for you. I'll pray for my enemies, and I will pray for each and every person who comes onto this video. So thank you guys for coming here. I greatly appreciate it. Now, with that being said, I wanted to show you this gold color that I made. This is a custom spray-painted color. I wanted to make it match these gold pieces here that the GZ guy sent. So huge shout out to the GZ guy again. Link is in the description for his channel. He's actually a really good supporter of the channel and I appreciate him sending these. Um, but I tried to make it match that color the best I can and I found a color that works and a method. I painted this bay. I didn't do a full video, but here's a little video clip for you guys to see me just kind of painting it. That was with the engine in and I got everything covered down there. Uh, everything was very hard to get to. But I did miss a few spots that will not be able to be got to until I drop the engine out. Once the engine's out, I will definitely hit those spots. But you cannot tell. Um, even if you looked for them, you probably couldn't see them. But I know there will be spots and angles I couldn't hit. With that being said, we're going to be painting this valve cover. It's a K20 valve cover. I've already sanded it down uh, 220 and 320 to kind of make it as smooth as I could. Uh, for this, it'll be fine. And I am using this paint right here, Rust-Oleum Black Primer. We have to have a black base coat. It does not have to be a high heat base coat for this valve cover. I've never had an issue doing exactly what I'm doing. Um, the only thing different that I'm doing is putting this Duplicolor Metal Cast. It's basically a yellow candy that you can get in a spray can. Um, I will leave a link in the description for this stuff. It's kind of hard to find in stores, but there will be a link below. Also be using the Duplicolor 1K Clear. It doesn't have a hardener, it's not a 2K Clear, but very good stuff and is a strong clear. So we'll be using that as well. I'll try to link that in the description as well. And we've got the Rust-Oleum Metallic. This is more of a bronze look. Um, it's never been really much of a metallic gold to me. I don't know, I just think it looks more bronze than anything. But when we apply this over it, it definitely turns into what you've seen on the engine bay. So I'm going to show you how to do that on this valve cover and uh, hopefully it all comes out good. But it's prepped, it's wiped down, and we're ready to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this on the tripod and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, we're going to go ahead and lay the black sandable primer down and uh, let that dry for about 5 or 10 minutes. And then we'll hit it with the gold.
All right, now we're gonna let that dry up for a little bit and then we'll come back with the gold. Okay, now we're gonna do the gold metallic over this and I'll probably end up doing two coats of this stuff and then after about 10 minutes, then we can lay the yellow candy over the top. Okay, so after about five minutes, then we can apply the Duplicolor. Now this stuff right here is really good stuff, but you don't want to go too heavy on the first coat. So we're just going to go ahead and lightly dust it all the way through. And in a couple minutes, come back and do it again. Okay, we're gonna let that dry for a few minutes and then we'll come back and do it again. Okay, here we go with the second coat. All right, now we're gonna let that dry for about five to 10 minutes, and then we'll hit it with the 1K clear. All right, after it's dried five to 10 minutes, we have the 1K clear. Now I highly recommend using the 2K clear. There will be a link in the description for the 2K stuff. It has a hardener on the bottom. You activate it, shake it up, and it's a way better clear. It's basically spray gun paint in a can. But this stuff will work really good, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Okay, we can let this dry for another five to 10 minutes and do another couple coats if we want, but I'm just gonna let this dry and we'll see exactly how it looks. Okay, here it is. I think it looks absolutely awesome all the way around. You can see it's pretty reflective there. And this is just the 1K spray paint. I highly recommend doing the 2K for a shinier finish. But uh, this is definitely really nice. I really like the color. It's more of the gold that I was looking for to begin with. And uh, I wouldn't have got this as inspiration to do this if it hadn't been for the GZ guy sending these little Fender dress up. I wanted to match them as good as I could. And this definitely does. Now it is up to you how much of the yellow candy you want to put over the top. The more coats you do, the darker it will appear. Uh, but I think this was perfect and it looks great. So, I uh, highly recommend it if you're wanting to do a gold to do the Rust-Oleum uh, Metallic and then do the yellow Duplicolor Metal Cast. MC202 is the part number. If you just type that into Google, it'll bring it up. Um, but yeah, definitely came out awesome. Uh, as you can see, I did the Honda Motor Company just using some brake clean and a rag and sprayed it in the spot on the rag and very carefully got it to where it looks like this now. Um, you could wait until it's fully cured, put tape around it, sand it, and buff it, and uh, then those would come out to a really nice shine, but I think that looks pretty good. Now, which one do you think I should do? I want to know what you guys think in the comments, whether I should do the white with pearl gold valve cover or do the gold. 
I think if I did the gold, it would be a little too much gold in the engine bay. So I think I'm going to go with the pearl white, but I do want to know what you guys think, uh, personal preference in the comments. So definitely let me know. But yeah, that's basically how easy it is to make the gold using multiple different spray paints. Now, I haven't tried this with all the gold paints out there, so maybe there's a better version if we were to use a different metallic gold as a base coat, because there's so many different metallic spray can paints out there, and then put this yellow over the top to see exactly what happens. But the way this came out is exactly what I was looking for, so I am very well pleased with that setup. But uh, yeah, definitely making some progress. If you haven't seen over on Texas Honda channel, I got this thing dyno tuned, made 280 to the wheels. Um, apparently I did contact the former owner of CompTech and he did say that I am overspinning this because it should not put out that much power. This kit is only rated to 275 to the crank. I'm pushing 280 to the wheels, which means it's pushing over 300 to the crank. Um, but there is no issues, so there's no problems, uh, but I am kind of limited on what I can do unless I switch the pulley out. So I will have to get a smaller pulley to compensate to make a little bit more power. But either way, I am very happy with this setup. Next on my list of things to do, if God is willing, is to sand and paint. Uh, if you didn't already know or you're new to the channel, this paint job has stuff like this all the way through it where it looks like they did not even sand uh, the paint down prior to painting it this blue color. This car was originally black. As you can still see under the hood is still black, the door jams, stuff like that. So we're going to be doing a white with pearl gold over it if God is willing. If it turns out good, it'll look amazing. I know a lot of people like the blue, and I think the blue color is a beautiful color. It's just I don't want to do the same color again. I kind of want to put my own twist on it. And as you can see, it's it's really bad. They didn't even sand it, and it's just flaking off, and it just, the paint comes off without even trying. Um, I hit it with the pressure washer, it flies off. So definitely have some work to do, and no, this was not spray can painted blue. This was actually done out of a gun, which goes to show just because it's done out of a gun doesn't mean it's going to look nice. It's all in the prep work. Doesn't matter if it's spray can, bed liner, spray gun, doesn't matter. Uh, it has to be prepped properly. But uh, yeah, definitely making some progress. Now, for the ones who also don't know, I'm going Legend of Zelda theme. Uh, this thing's going to be white with the crest right here. Uh, as you can see right there on screen, my good friend Joe, he's actually resin core printing them or 3D printing them. Um, and they actually go right here where the Acura emblem is and it's going to look really cool. Um, I think it is at least. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to go over the top with it. I do want it to be a clean setup. So just white with a pearl gold over it, the gold engine bay, and then the little Zelda things here and there. So I'm going to try to do a master sword as a shifter. I think it'll be really cool. And uh, I'm going to kind of inspired by like the Breath of the Wild theme, but I'm not exactly sure on all of that yet. But I am going to go Legend of Zelda theme. It's going to be pretty cool. And uh, where all my Legend of Zelda nerds at? Get in the comments below. Um, if you haven't already seen, I did the Sheikah Eye from the Sheikah Slate. That's on Breath of the Wild. That was also in Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask for the Lens of Truth and the Sheik and uh, Impa. But either way, with all that being said, it's definitely making progress. I am so excited to get started on the paint and stuff, but I have to be careful. The city said I can only do little projects at a time, so I'm going to do the fender one day, you know, the fender the next day, the bumper the next day. The whole car is a small project to me. I don't know. I'm, I'm just weird, I guess, but I'm going to just do little bits at a time and then put it all in one video, kind of over a period of this much time, I got this much done. It won't be all done at the same time like I usually do, but they will be all in the same video, if that makes sense. But uh, yeah, definitely making progress. I am super excited to get this thing going how I want it. Like It's supercharged, that's what I wanted. And next thing on the list is the paint. So definitely have some work to do, tons of body work and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now I know a lot of you will probably have something to say negative in the comment section, whether it be about uh, God, whether it be about my paint or my car or whatever it is, but just know I love you anyways. So if I ever tag this spot, that's for you to know that I still love you. I don't know where the hate's coming from, but I still love you. I will pray for you guys, especially the ones who have some negativity. I will definitely keep you in my prayers for sure. 
But uh, how selfish would it be for me to have the keys to eternal life and not share it with you? That'd be pretty selfish, I say. So it's worth me risking everything. I've also saved, I didn't save, God has saved, through me, plenty of people that were on YouTube that were going to commit suicide. And a lot of them reached out to me, and they're still alive to this day and doing good. And I am so happy that God has given me a platform I can use to reach lost souls. So... I greatly appreciate each and every one of you who came here and clicked that subscribe button. And uh, let me know what you guys think of the valve cover in the comments below. But that's basically it for this video. I will see you in the next one. And as I like to say, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.